I was a driver. Somebody remarked that it was probably my lucky day. Started to fall behind the, the Humvee in front of me, and a truck pulled out right in front of my my truck, my Humvee. And my uh, sergeant, you know, it screamed to stop. I, I should have probably driven through it, and I ended up slamming the brakes, and we came to a came to a halt right as it the truck blew up, and that was just one of several, I guess, traumatic events. It was a shocking experience for me. The first time I ever lost control in my whole life, it was about 10 minutes after I landed back, back to the U.S. Uh, my ex-wife picked me up from the airport, we picked up my bags, and as we drove off and went around the first curve, I started yelling to her to slow down. That moment, for a brief second, it was like terror. And then I cut back to my body. And I was like, where'd that come from? It's the only disorder in the whole psychiatric manual that you can wake up one morning and not have it, and go to bed that night and have it because you had a traumatic experience. I think one huge consequence, which is in the news every day, is the amount of suicide. We're experiencing 18 suicides a day. Men, are, men and women are dying needlessly. And damn the research, we got a tool that works. It can't hurt anybody. You can't do it wrong. We need to get this out there now. We gave veterans six sessions of EFT. Now six one-hour sessions of anything, of any kind of therapy, isn't that much. Six one-hour sessions. And we found that the average drop in clinical PTSD among those veterans was about 65%. So massive drops in PTSD as a result of EFT. It's been the most powerful technique that I've run across in my 38 years doing this. So the important thing to know about is the amygdala part of the brain. That's the smoke de detector. And its job is if it sees something that's dangerous, it's going to give, set an alarm off. The louder your amygdala is, the less this part of your brain where all your smarts are, are gone. The wiring is such that a lot of things trigger that threat response. So that without realizing that it's tied to something in the past, it is present. They are in that anxiety. Anytime that amygdala is in chaos, it's saying danger, 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 danger. This part of the brain goes off, and then this part's primary. This is fight, flight, or freeze. We have to reset that amygdala. And the tapping, for some reason, seems to set, reset that part of the brain so that the kids can be chaotic and you're not back in, in the war. Anything from, from a door opening or a water bottle cracking to fireworks, I know that I'm not in danger, but somewhere deep in, 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 the, in the amygdala and the rest of my body, I'm, I'm triggered and now it's a whole cycle that my body has to go through that I also have to recover from that whole process and that takes such a toll on, on your body. You, you have to let it out somehow. You have to know that you need help. Your family depends on you. What we want to do in our generation is to reach out to our returning warriors in ways that wasn't done in Vietnam. And we don't want to make the same mistakes. I got triggered one day and oriented myself to the helicopter and just started tapping. Ever since then, it's like, you know, I could walk up to one and get in one and take a ride in it now and it wouldn't bother me. Immediately, I could feel some emotion coming up. And we just kept doing the tapping points, and uh, then the emotion just went down to zero. And I was like, wait, what happened? And it was gone. I knew there had to be something better for trauma. I knew it. And I feel like I got led to it, and this was the answer for me. I've seen miracles happen with this stuff, and people get their lives back. Without EFT, I, I don't know where I would be, I don't know what I would do. It has to do with consciousness, it has to do with the, the meridian system, energy. We do know it works in terms of 
nightmares, flashbacks, anxiety, panic disorder, depression, shame, guilt, you name it, beliefs. You know, it's, it's there to help you in more ways than one. The benefits go on and on and on. I, I don't think I could list them all. EFT just it could save my life, there's no doubt. Thank you.